Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick until the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have x squared minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 squared. So right here, I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, I first start with x squared minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 squared. Now, x squared minus 1, this is the same thing as x squared minus 1 squared, because 1 is the same thing as 1 squared. So now I have x squared minus 1 squared is equal to x minus 1 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, x squared minus 1 squared, this is going to equal x minus 1 times x plus 1. And now this is equal to x minus 1 squared. Now, x minus 1 squared, this is the same thing as x minus 1 times x minus 1, because it's just x minus 1 twice. So now, if I subtract both sides by x minus 1 times x minus 1, I get x minus 1 times x plus 1 minus x minus 1 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now if I factor out x minus 1, I get x minus 1 times x plus 1 minus x minus 1. This is equal to 0. Now it's equal to x minus 1 times x plus 1 minus x plus 1, which is equal to 0. Now these two x's cancel out, and I'm left with 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2, so I have x minus 1 times 2 is equal to 0. Now if I divide both sides by 2, these two cancel out, so I'm left with x minus 1 is equal to 0. So now if I simply add 1 on both sides, I get x is equal to 1. So this is my answer. All right, so we are given that five to the power of x equals seven. So now we wanna find the value of seven to the power of x. So the first thing to do is find the value of x. So we have five to the power of x is equal to seven. Now to find the value of x here, I'm first gonna take the log on both sides. So now I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 7. Now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front. So it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 5 is equal to log 7. Now if I divide both sides by log 5, these two cancel out, and now I'm left with x is equal to log 7 over log 5. Now, log 7, this is equal to 0 0.8451. And log 5, 
This is equal to 0 0.6990. So now if I substitute these values in into our expression here, I get x is equal to 0 0.8451 over 0 0.6990. So now if I divide these two, I get x is equal to 1.2090. So this is my value for x. However, we want to find the value of 7 to the power of x. So if we know that x is equal to 1.2090, then 7 to the power of x is the same thing as 7 to the power of 1.2090. And this is equal to 10.5129. So 7 to the power of x is equal to 10.5129. So this is my answer. All right, so I have three to the power of x plus three to the power of x is equal to 10. So I wanna find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with three to the power of x plus three to the power of x is equal to 10. Now, because I have two three to the power of x's on my left-hand side, I'm simply gonna factor out three to the power of x for my left-hand side. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is equal to 10. Now 1 plus 1, that's equal to 2. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 10. Now if I divide both sides by 2, these two cancel out. Now I'm left with 3 to the power of x is equal to 10 divided by two, which is five. So now I'm given, I just got another equation, three to the power of x equals five. So now to solve this, I'm gonna first take the log on both sides. So now I have log three to the power of x is equal to log five. Now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this would equal b times log a. And what's so important about this property is that right now, as you see, x here, this is an exponent. And it's really hard to solve for x right now the way it is because x is actually gonna be a decimal because we know that three to the power of one is equal to three and three to the power of two is equal to nine. And five, this is somewhere in between three and nine, meaning x is somewhere in between one and two. However, we can't find that exact value the way it is right now. So now that if we move x to the front, now x will be a real term and it's gonna be much easier to solve for it. So I have log three to the power of x is equal to log five. And now if I move x to the front, I get x times log three is equal to log five. And now if I divide both sides by log three, these two cancel out and I'm left with x is equal to 0 0.699 over 0 0.477, which is equal to 1.464. So this is my answer.